Howdy everyone, my name is Griffin Furlong. I'm a professional engineer in the state of Florida and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some WaterCAD tips and tricks. One of the first tips and tricks I'm going to show you is actually all about labels and legends when you set up a WaterCAD model. Let's dive right into it. And I'm actually just going to be setting a very basic model. I'm gonna show you how to create some helpful text labels and color code labels that will help you with your analysis of your design. So here I'm just going to start by going up to the layout tab and I'm just going to start laying out some reservoirs and then some junctions. Now if you don't know what these are, I highly suggest you watch my last video on WaterCAD. I walk through how to set up an entire model. So feel free to check out that video. So right here I'm just going to have a reservoir and a couple junctions and then in between everything I will have my pressure pipes. So if you go in here and click, we've set up this very basic model. Now notice how I already have some labels set here, but I'm going to show you how you can set up some additional labels to help you with your design. So if you go over here to the element symbology, maybe the first thing I want to show is how we can annotate more of this pipe. So if you go up here to pipe, if you hit right click, you can do new, and then you can do annotation or color coding. First, I'm going to show you an annotative text label that will help you when you are analyzing your pipe system. So here we have a whole different options for field names. A typical one that people might want to see is maybe flow, or maybe you might actually want to see the velocity in the system. So for this one, I'm going to do velocity, and we can set up a prefix here. Maybe we can do velo. The suffix is going to be the units, so that units is already programmed in here. And notice here how you have some initial offsets. I'm not going to edit those yet because I want to show you how this all translates if I were to just press OK. So I'm going to hit apply and then OK. So notice how it dropped it right below. So we don't have any conflicts right here, which is good. Sometimes if I were to do that, you have some text conflicts and that's when you'll go back and start shifting the X and Y offsets. Let me show you how to actually do that. So we just created this velocity text label. I'm going to do edit. And then up here, we can actually see all of our labels that we have. We got the label name and then we got velocity. Well, let's say if I wanted this offset to go further down, I can do, let's say negative, maybe not 100, but negative 10 feet. I'm gonna hit apply and notice how we now have the velocity way lower. You can also do that with the X offsets. So velocity one's good. Now let's add some for the junction. So it is the same process. I'm gonna right click junction, I'm gonna go to annotation. Now let's see what kind of field names we can see. So here we might have some elevations, which might be helpful. I'm also gonna do demand. So again, you can do a prefix here and you can do demand colon, I'm going to do apply, and it looks like now we are cooking with fire with each of these annotative labels. So when you run it, you'll be able to see what's going on in this system. Now let me show you how to do some color codes. So with color codes, you know, let's say you have a massive model and you're really just trying to create a nice exhibit to show maybe where a pipe has a velocity over 5 FPS. Well, how do you do that? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. So we go over here to pipe, element symbology, right click new. We'll go to color coding. And then here you have an assortment of field names that you can look at. So let's go to our field name for velocity. Where my focus is, is this value. So right now it's saying anything less than or equal to blank, it'll be a certain color. So let's say if I wanna know what is less than or equal to five, I want to know if it's good. So I'm gonna say that green is good. Now, anything above this will be red. So let's say if you had a list of ranges, like maybe seven, if you really wanted to know if it was over seven, you can also create that to a different color there. Then you can hit apply. Now, obviously, you didn't see anything change here yet because I haven't hit the run button. In order to hit run, you're gonna go up here to the home tab and press compute. And let's see if anything happened. So voila, 
we now have a color code system and we've placed some labels to let us know what's going on in this system. Now, this is showing that we're green. Green is good because we wanted to be below the five FPS that we were looking for. So if we were to actually go in here and start setting some elevations of the reservoirs, let's maybe set this to 50, we'll call it. And this is all, all for fun. We're just seeing what's gonna happen. Let's say we got some demand here. We can put, Let's see, we have a demand collection. We're gonna input a demand. Let's just go high, let's go 50 GPM. So we got 50 GPM going through that junction. Let's go ahead and compute. Okay, so we're still actually pretty good here. So our velocity is not even reaching over five FPS. But you see the point here is that we've created some nice annotative and color codes to really help us analyze our design. I'm sure if I were to put a whole bunch of flow into this system, we'd probably start seeing some red. So let's compute this again. And then voila, so in that pipe, we got 5,000 GPM going to that node there, and we got a velocity of well over five FPS, so that's why it has signaled red. I wanted to keep this video short and sweet. This is just some tips and tricks to help your annotation and your color codes for when you analyze your design. If you're curious about how to set up a WaterCAD model, please feel free to visit my old videos that I've made and I plan to create more to show other WaterCAD tips and tricks. Hope you learned something new. Feel free to comment below if you need a little bit more clarification on any items that I addressed today and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.